The tasseled wabagong is a very successful ambush predator that lives in coral reef habitats. They have superbly camouflaged skin that is intricately patterned, making them very difficult to spot. As a species, their most distinctive feature is the fleshy dermal flaps around its chin. These flaps break up the wabagong's outline, making it hard for fish to spot in its reef environment. The tasseled wabagong is a master of patience. They remain motionless, blending with reef structure, until fish swim within striking range. If this does not work, the wabagong resorts to waving its tail back and forth to lure in prey. The tail resembles a small fish, with a dark eye spot at the base. When prey gets close enough, it strikes. It opens its mouth so quickly that it causes a pressure difference in the water, sucking in prey where it is, then pierced with sharp teeth and swallowed whole. Tiny fish and crustaceans have been observed settling atop the wabagong's head. This attracts even larger prey, which are in turn attacked. As we have discussed, this shark relies on camouflage and quick reflexes to catch prey. They have a flexible, flattened body shape for maneuvering into enclosed spaces like caves for the best hunting spot. They are nocturnal, mostly active during the nighttime. During the day, they tend to rest in sheltered locations on the reef. The wabagong typically grows up to four feet in length. This shark is ovoviviparous, in which the developing embryos are sustained by yolk until live birth occurs. A typical litter is about 20 pups. Their geographic range is in the Pacific Ocean, off Indonesia, Northern Australia, and New Guinea. They are found inshore and on coral reefs. Wabagong's predators can include any larger fish, such as marine mammals and other sharks. This shark has a small reputation for biting humans due to mistaking a hand or foot as prey or as self-defense when felt threatened. Humans should exercise caution when swimming in the same waters because they are so hard to see. They usually remain at rest relying on camouflage unless harassed. Conversely, they are popular to observe during ecotourism dives. In Australia, threats to the wabagong are minimal seeing as the species is of no economic value and is rarely caught as bycatch. However, outside of Australian waters, trawls and habitat destruction due to harmful fishing practices such as dynamite fishing are major threats. Their tough, intricately patterned skin is sometimes used for leather. In the U.S., they are often kept in aquaria due to their spectacular appearance. Currently, according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the tasseled wabagong is of least concern. Luckily, a considerable portion of its habitat is protected in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. However, expanding fisheries and coral reef destruction through pollution, dangerous fishing practices, and coral removal threaten the wabagong in the rest of its range. Currently, there are no conservation actions in place for this species. Due to its limited distribution, the wabagong's conservation status should always be of concern. Site-attached species such as this one can benefit from habitat protection and implemented no-take zones where all forms of harvest and fishing are banned. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is a good example of this. The tasseled wabagong is an important predator in coral reef systems. By simply being aware of the little biology known about them can help protect this unique species.